As you know, mis amigos, practica y repetición is what I regularly encourage you to do to improve your Spanish as we read the Bible. Practica y repetición. However, wouldn't it be nice if someone could correct your pronunciation when you incorrectly repeat a word? Of course it would. Well, today I'm going to offer you an opportunity to share your Spanish with me so that I can help you with your pronunciation. Sound good? Then stay with me, amigos, and I will explain exactly what I mean. Saludos, familia, and welcome to Mission Ali. My name is Roberto, and this is where we learn Spanish through the Bible. So now, this idea came from one of our viewers, and I think it's a good one. However, <laughs> I've never done it before, so I really don't know how it's going to work out, but let's give it a whirl and see how it goes. Basically, I'm going to teach you a few simple verses from the Gospel of John, El Evangelio de San Juan, right along with their pronunciation. And then I will ask you to record yourself as you recite these verses and then send them to me via email. Now, this part is a simple process, and I'll actually show you how to do it right at the end of the video. Now, obviously, this is optional. You don't have to, but please, por favor, give it a shot and see if I can help you with your pronunciation. So here's what I'm planning. First, I will listen to each one of the recordings that I receive, and then I'll make another video giving a general overview and feedback of all the good pronunciations I hear, and then add some corrections and suggestions for the ones that I see that are having a few more problems. Finally, if it seems to work well, then we'll do it again using some different verses. Agreed? De acuerdo? Then let's begin. Let's go over three verses. Juan capítulo 4, versículos 24 al 26, where Jesus reveals to the Samaritan woman that he, he is the Messiah. Dios es espíritu, y los que lo adoran deben adorar en espíritu y en verdad. Again, I won't go over every single word, but let me hit the ones that can be just a little bit more challenging. Let's start with Dios, God. Now, this is basically two sounds made into one. Dios, Dios. Now, say it a little faster with the emphasis on the second half. Dios. We see Espíritu twice, which means spirit. The word is in lowercase because it's not talking about the Holy Spirit specifically. It's simply explaining that God is not a material being, made of flesh and bones, but instead a spirit. Note that there's an accent over the first I, so that is where the emphasis is located. The pronunciation is Espíritu, Espíritu. Next, we have two words that are very similar and basically mean the same thing. Adoran and adorar. Adoran basically means they praise. And adorar means to praise. Remember, words that end with a vowel or the letters N or S have the emphasis on the second to last syllable. So we have adoran, adoran. Words that end in a consonant other than the letters N or S have the emphasis on the last syllable. So we have adorar, adorar. Let's repeat this verse with what we've learned so far. Dios es espíritu y los que lo adoran deben adorar en espíritu y en verdad. La mujer le dijo... Sé que el Mesías viene, el que es llamado Cristo. Cuando Él venga, nos declarará todo. As I've mentioned before, an accent over a letter trumps all other pronunciation rules. In other words, if you see an accent, you have to put the emphasis right there, regardless if the word ends with a vowel or with a consonant. Also, an accent can actually change the meaning of a word. There are actually four words here with accents, so let's go over them briefly. The first one is se. In this case, se with an accent over the e means I know. If there was no accent over the e, then se turns into a pronoun, or more specifically, a reflexive pronoun, meaning an action that is being done to 
oneself. However, <laughs> that's just a little bit more involved, so we'll save that for another time, but for now, let me at least give you a couple brief examples. Se compró una Biblia. He bought himself a Bible, or she bought herself a Bible. Now, the context will actually determine the gender. The word se in this particular sentence means either himself or herself. Now, it can also be plural. Se compraron unas Biblias. They bought themselves some Bibles. So, in this sentence, se refers to themselves. Claro, clear, muy bien. Mesías means Messiah. Now, because the accent is on the I, the pronunciation is Mesías. Mesías. Now, we've gone over L before, but a little review never hurts. El, when it has an accent over the E, whether it be a capital or lowercase, means he or him. If el has no accent over the E, then it simply refers to the word the. Declarará means he will declare future tense, something that is yet to happen. Now, because the accent is over the A at the end of the word, the pronunciation is declarará. Declarará. We have two words that have the letter J in them. The J in Spanish is pronounced like the English H when it's at the beginning of a word. So here we have mujer, mujer, which means woman. We also have dijo, dijo, which means said. Let's go over two more words. The first one is llamado, which means called. Remember, the double L in Spanish is pronounced like the English Y. So here we have llamado, llamado. Finally, we have Cristo, which, as you can probably guess, means Christ. The pronunciation is Cristo, Cristo. Let's repeat this verse. La mujer le dijo, sé que el Mesías viene, el que es llamado Cristo. Cuando él venga, nos declarará todo. Here's our last verse. Jesús le dijo, Yo soy el que habla contigo. For this one, we'll just go over three words. The first one is Jesús. Because the accent is over the U, the pronunciation is Jesús. Jesús. The H in Spanish is silent. So here we have habla, habla, which means he speaks. Now, this could also actually mean she speaks if the context was a little different and a female was involved. Finally, contigo means with you and is pronounced contigo, contigo. Let's repeat this last verse. Jesús le dijo, yo soy el que habla contigo. How was that, mis amigos? I pray that it was helpful and that you now have a good idea how to pronounce and recite these verses correctly. So now, let's me re let's me <laughs> let me recite these verses twice. Once at a with a controlled cadence, and then one time at a normal conversation rate. Dios es espíritu, y los que lo adoran. Deben adorar en espíritu y en verdad. La mujer le dijo, Sé que el Mesías viene, el que es llamado Cristo. Cuando él venga, nos declarará todo. Jesús le dijo, Yo soy el que habla contigo. Dios es espíritu. Y los que lo adoran deben adorar en espíritu y en verdad. La mujer le dijo, Sé que el Mesías viene, el que es llamado Cristo. Cuando Él venga, nos declarará todo. Jesús le dijo, Yo soy el que habla contigo. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a voice memo or some type of recording app that's available on both Android and iPhone. For my example, I use the voice memo on iPhone. So first, I open the app, tap on the red recording dot, and begin recording the verses that we went over today. When I'm done, 
I tap the red recording dot again and it stops the recording. From here, I can tap the title and simply give it a new name. For example, John 4 Roberto. If you don't want to put your name, you can simply put John 4 Spanish. From here, there should be some dots or an arrow that provides a drop down menu and which will give you the option to share the recording. Personally, I have Gmail, but you can click on whichever email app you have if it appears in the menu. Once you click on an email icon, you can type in my email address, roadforjc at gmail.com. Finally, to make it easier for me to identify, go ahead and fill in the subject line with the same name that you used for the recording. In this case, I'll put John for Roberto, and then just hit send. Well, mis amigos, I pray that you enjoyed our time together and that you can now repeat these verses confidently in Espanol. And please, por favor, if you don't mind, since this is kind of a new pronunciation experiment, it's something brand new for me, so go ahead and give me some feedback and any suggestions you might have so that we can keep improving this. And continue your práctica y repetición. Práctica y repetición. As usual, if this video has been helpful, por favor, like, subscribe, and share it with others. Until next time, may the Lord bless you abundantly. Amen.